Maddie, is this really the weather for shorts? Yeah. Bird. Can we say? Bird. <laughs> Wait, we see. Let me see the shades. <laughs> Hang on for the whole picture. No, you need, no, you need. I have my jacket on. Me. What jacket? No, no jacket in the car. Uh, car. And what kind of glasses are we? <laughs> Where am I going with this? To get water. <laughs> Sorry. I know you're tall, you can't say. Down. Here. Here. Molly could see if she's on the right level. Is that a TV you're going to feed the company? Flag moss, I think. Yeah, well. have a Ginger's Island flag. Should we? Big Ginger's Island flag on that. Please don't hit my car. Man, you're awful fond of this shit, Edward. Uh, excuse me, you called me it. Huh? Yeah, in the last video I have photographic evidence. Okay, you didn't get me down the foot though. I didn't know, did I? I didn't do it again. <laughs> <laughs> We took a drive to Mount Sandal in Cold Rain so that we could step back in history and visit a Mesolithic site that has been radiocarbon dated as one of the earliest human occupied sites in all of Ireland at around 7000 BC. As they always say, what a difference 24 hours makes. When we woke up yesterday morning, the roar of the wind and the trees above us was absolutely crazy. Uh, there's trees right beside all the caravan sites. I thought some of the trees were at the stage where they were going to come down and fall on top of us. They were swaying about so much. And then in contrast today, whenever I woke up, the sky is blue and looking out through the little skylight in the top of the caravan was like, it was just, just a beautiful picture. The trees weren't really moving blue skies and all you could hear were the birds chirping. It sounded like somebody had actually recorded them and amped up the volume because it was just so loud. Uh, we're actually staying in a place called Drumaheglas which is near Balamani. The campsites are absolutely brilliant. Um, each one of them is uh, double sized. It's actually brick paved. Some of the sites you go to it's you know maybe stones and then grass beside it but here we've got the car, the 
caravan and they're both on the brick pavements and then you've got enough grass beside you to put your awning up and then you're still a really good distance away from the nearest one to you so it's really really spacious. It's right on the river ban. Uh, it would be fantastic if you were coming for doing some water sports. Yesterday though I wouldn't have advised anybody to be on it on any kind of kayak or paddleboard because it was just it, the fierceness of it with the wind and the rain. I mean we woke up this morning and Pat had to come out and pop a whole pile of rain off the top of the awning. Um, hopefully we'll get dried out before we go home. But as it's our last day we're going to go and get breakfast. There is a cafe on site. It's a proper cafe, not a coffee shop. So it's not just Trebex. They had fries and everything going, which is what you want for your last morning. You don't want to have to start making food when you're getting tidied up. Uh, and then most importantly for Tony, they've also got a wee ice cream shop. So that would be her happy. Any kids who are in their ice cream, they have a good decent selection from what we saw. So thanks very much for watching. We're Ginger Gerald. Um, hopefully we'll see you the next time.